emotions. So this past week, emotions were running hot. We had two benches clearing fights. One took place in the NL East with the Mets and the Phillies. We had uh, Jose Alvarado pitching to Dom Smith, who struck him out, and that proceeded to empty the benches. And we also, over in uh, Cincinnati, had the Cubs and the Reds get into a fight when Amir Garrett struck out Anthony Rizzo, and they got into it there. So look, I wanted to talk about both of these, and I wanted to start with, with the Phillies and the Mets. So we had Jose Alvarado on the mound for the Phillies, struck out Dominic Smith. And they, they have a little bit of a pass before. They, they've, you know, they've, they've gone off on each other before. Alvarado strikes him out. Uh, and, and starts mouthing off to each other and, and starts mouthing off towards Dom Smith. And next thing you know, I'm watching this game live. Next thing you know, Alvarado is taking his glove off, throwing it um, like, like, he, like they're getting ready to get into a huge brawl. Um, look, it's a Major League Baseball fight. We know that doesn't happen. But tensions are running hot in the NL East. And then the very next night, back-to-back -back nights, we get tensions running hot. We got Amir Garrett on the mound for the Reds, who I, I'm a big fan of. I played against him a bunch in the minor leagues. Um, but he plays with a lot of emotion. And the Cubs ended up taking offense to this. He struck out Anthony Rizzo and proceeded to, you know, mouth off towards him. Uh, some bad words flying here and there, pumping his chest. I love emotion. I love emotion. But here's where it gets us in trouble. And here's where everyone says, well, look, you're a big, you're a big emotion guy. You, you want showboating, as people say. Here's my whole thing. This isn't showboating. That's not what, I, what I'm a fan of. I'm a fan of players showing emotion. What we had here was pitchers pounding their chest, cussing at other opposing players. Anthony Rizzo is one of the most well-liked players in the league. We had Amir Garrett strike him out, start pumping his chest, MFing him left and right. Javi Baez takes offense to that, comes out of the dugout, flicks him off, and look, you, you, that's what we can't do. We can't show emotion towards other players and expect them to be okay with that. And that's what we had. We had players not only, I, I'm fine if Amir Garrett comes off the mound, pumps his chest, looks to his dugout, starts pumping him up, but that's not what he did. That's not what he did. He started doing it towards the other team, towards the other players, and that's where you run into an issue. But I did also want to talk about fighting in general, since we had two this week. Baseball fights are ridiculous. They're absolutely hilarious. You know what happens during these baseball fights? Nothing. Not a single thing happens. You have two guys mad at each other. They start yelling at each other. They're immediately held back by somebody. And then you have the, the dugouts empty. I've been a part of fights. I've been a part of fights at professional baseball. You feel obligated to jump out of the dugout, and then you just stand there. You literally just stand there. It is the funniest thing in the world. And nothing happens during baseball fights besides guys. It's, it's like the joke. You know, like when, when people like pretend to get in fights, and they're like, hold me back, hold me back. That's what happens. These guys get held back, and absolutely nothing happens. The bullpens come trotting in next to each other. They come trotting in next to each other from the outfield. It is the most hilarious thing in the entire world, but we got two of them. Not one, but two, Friday night and Saturday night uh, in Major League Baseball. I want to talk about Mike Trout. What he is doing this year is remarkable. Mike Trout was already the best player in the world. He's, he's playing better than Mike Trout ever has. This is, the, this is the best we've ever seen. Have we seen the peak of Mike Trout? Maybe. I, we might be in it right now. Mike Trout is hitting over 400. He's leading the league in average on-base percentage and OPS, which is on-base percentage plus slugging percentage. He's leading the league in all of those. And... I, I, I find this guy remarkable, but I wanted to make a point because I've talked a lot on this show about the face of baseball. And I, I feel like the most common response when people disagree with me, which I'm fine with, I'm fine with people disagreeing, I like it. I feel like the most common response is, are you forgetting about Mike Trout? No, <laughs> no, I'm not. 
Mike Trout is the best player in Major League Baseball, potentially going to be the best player of all time. We're watching him right now. But just because I say another player is the face of baseball doesn't mean that they are the best player in baseball because I think we can all agree, hands down, the best player in baseball is Mike Trout. And what he is doing this year is absolutely incredible. So I wanted to make a full storyline of just Mike Trout because I'm watching him night in and night out. And look, he's going, he's going two for five some nights and it's bringing his batting average down. It's remarkable. Uh, so Mike Trout off to a ridiculous start. And if you remember uh, coming into this year, he said, and I quote, I think I'm starting to figure some things out with my swing. I was mind blown by that statement. What do you mean? You're the best in the world. Well, he's now, he's now playing better than he ever has. So it's truly remarkable to watch. And if you don't watch Mike Trout on a night in and night out basis, you're doing yourself a disservice. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun. So hit that subscribe button.